Queensland's got a lot of big stuff. The big pineapple, big dinosaurs, big jellyfish and big waves. And soon it could be getting one of the world's biggest coal mines. Here in the Sunshine State's Galilee Basin, an Indian company called Adani is planning to build the Carmichael Mine and extract six million tonnes of coal every year. That's a lot of coal. The project has a lot of people excited. Australia's already the number one exporter of coal in the world. And some say this project will give our economy a boost. Plus, it'll provide jobs. And it's got the support of our Liberal Prime Minister as well as Queensland's Labor government. We are a resource rich state, we're an agricultural rich state and we're a tourism rich state and we need jobs. The federal government's considering loaning Adani a billion dollars to build a railway line from the Carmichael mine to the coast to help get the coal to ships, although Queensland's Premier doesn't support that. But there are lots of people who reckon this mine is a really bad idea. Adani's got into trouble in India for not following environmental laws. And some people who live near Adani operations say the coal has made them sick. So in Australia, there are worries they'll break the rules here too. They have a, the, one of the worst environmental records that a company can have. There are also worries about the effect the mine could have on wetlands and the Great Barrier Reef. That's because some seabed will have to be dug up near the reef to make room for ships carrying coal. Some farmers who live around the Galilee Basin aren't happy either because Adani's been given permission to use an unlimited amount of water from under the ground. Water the farmers say they need. The amount of water that we can pump out of the bores will be less and they're not really certain of how, what the effect on the water quality will be. But it's not just the effect the mine could have on Queensland's environment that has people worried. There are also questions about how much it will actually help Australia's economy or whether it will bring enough jobs to be worthwhile. Coal is becoming less and less popular around the world because of the pollution it creates and it's not worth as much as it used to be. So some people say it's a bad time for Australia to invest in more coal mines. There are passionate opinions on both sides of the Carmichael mine debate. And with Queenslanders getting ready to head to the polls for a state election, you can bet there'll be some more big speeches and big arguments about this big coal mine.